don't know what a heal from my abandoned adolescence See, I done been locked back now, I've been heartbroken I wanted to cry, but I was too afraid to open Praying one day I find a piece of mine by the ocean I spent all my time Alright, so we're done with the oil change tire rotation on that diesel truck. Um, now I got a works package on the uh, Explorer and it got an air filter in the cabin. So, yeah, y'all stay tuned. So this ticket I got right now, another oil change tire rotation. I recommend the two tires, but the tires on the front are in better condition, so I'm gonna go ahead and rotate those to the back. And then they get the two tires, I'll get the two tires. Last car, they didn't get the four tires. Pulled it out, I was low-key in the rush, so. Not not me, but I was getting rushed, so I just didn't record anything else. But uh, other than that, cause that customer was already here for like two hours, even though they ain't got nothing to do with me. But, you know, you gotta do what's best for the customer, you know, like. As far as trying to put a little, you know what I'm saying, hurry up or whatever. But as far as how long it's been here, that ain't got nothing to do with me. But uh, yeah, gonna knock this out real quick. We didn't caught back up, so yeah, we smooth now. Maybe it won't get approved, I don't know, we'll see, but I'm about to pull something up then. All right, so now I got an oil change tire rotation and uh, wiper blades on this Expedition. I look, you could put this on the two posts, but nah, I'm just gonna throw it on the, I'm just gonna throw it on the four posts. All right, you two, I'm dropping the oil. I caught myself trying to put the wipers on first off the and get it out of the way. I don't know why, but every once in a while, Something so simple just don't want to go right. Like, I put the other side on, no problem. Now I get to the other side, and they act like you don't want to lock. So I'm like, you know what? I ain't even going to waste too much time on that. I'm going to just drop the oil, rotate the tires, and I get back to it. And I guarantee you, when I drop it and get back to it, it's going to lock right away. I don't know why stuff be happening like that, but that's how I be going for me. The most simple things be tweaking sometimes. Like, literally, it's the, it's the wipers where you just take it off. You don't even got to change the adapter or whatever. They just snap back on, literally. ticket I grabbed today, by the time I get it, the customer already been for an hour. The first ticket I had, the customer was just two hours. Like, what?
car you too now I'm at an old uh, I told y'all that was gonna happen when I let the car back down and put the lights on it's gonna go right on this time that's exactly what happened but I got that oil I already took the wheels I already chopped off the washer fluid cooling good this is good I only got 9,000 miles on the car so yeah after that I'm gonna pull it out and get back with y'all Alright YouTube, so I got the drum brakes off. Um, the thing is, that's what I don't like about this. That's what I don't like about this school. This is a common sample right here. So I took it off. And now my uh, my group or whatever, they gotta do the other side. But he want us to fill this out before we put it back on. Like right? this don't got nothing to do with anything, like right? knowing knowing the specs and all that other stuff, it's irrelevant if you're a person. You know what I'm saying? And according to what I know. You only have to do drum brakes like if you got them on your car if your car died you know what i'm saying they only on older cars for the most part from what i know you only got to do them one time so it's like if you replace them if you replace them the measurements is irrelevant i know when it comes to like doing disc brakes and things like that you got to sell it to a customer you got to measure it but just from replacing it or uh, removing it or whatever the specs are irrelevant so that's what i don't like about this thing like look at this They try to preach like you gotta know how to write up stuff and things like that. But we don't, the service advisors do all the writing up. The only thing you do is inspect the car and suggest it, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know, but that's what we got going on right now. That's kind of a glimpse of what we're doing. That's all we're gonna be doing today. I think we were doing disc brakes. Yesterday we did, I mean, jump brakes. Yesterday we did disc brakes, so yeah. But, uh, and that's a prime example right there. Like, I don't know if I'm just being over, I ain't even, I ain't even gonna say I'm being over complicated, but like, if we was doing disc brakes yesterday, why wait till today to do drums? So we can do both. You know what I'm saying? Like, it don't take that long. You feel me? So, I don't know. That's, but good thing I only got, what, today, Wednesday? Uh, after today, I only got 13 days left in the school. No cap, we done. But, yeah, I'm going to get back with y'all. You two just made it to work. Um... We're going to see what we got going on today. Uh, in school, all we did was put the drums back on. Um, 
And then that's pretty much it. Went back to the classroom for a couple hours, got lectured and things like that. And that was that was all. I ain't gonna count, bro. When it comes to drum breaks, it's so easy to take off, but putting it back on. That's something I'm gonna have to do like I have to do that like repetitive. You know what I'm saying? Like repetitively. So you know what I'm saying? Like get that down pack. Honestly, like I don't know what it was, but shout out to season. No cap, that boy helped me out. But um, cause I even had took a video of it or whatever, but still ain't helped me out. So yeah, like as far as putting the drums back on, you know what I'm saying? That's easy. But I had to um, what I had to do? I had to um, I had to readjust the cam to get the uh, to get the adjuster to sit right. But like that's what I mean by it's more like I don't know how to. I can't really go look at somebody else and be like, oh, yeah, you need to fix this. Because that's exactly what my instructor came over there and did to me. It was like, like based off what I had going on, I couldn't tell that I need to readjust the uh, the cam to get the adjuster to sit right. I didn't even know all that was wrong. You feel me? But other than that, everything was pretty much smooth. As y'all can see, that, that paper I was showing y'all, we just had to um, measure the uh, specs and things like that. Um, and, yeah, that's pretty much it. Tomorrow we're supposed to be doing the... Um, the shocks and the struts or whatever so stay tuned for that i sure i might i might record that if i do y'all see i might record it depends because today honestly i should have recorded but that first clip when i was when it was recording she's like hey let me record for you but other than that i don't really have nowhere to sit up my camera but tomorrow if it's as quiet as it was today in the shop i'll record because it's actually been cool outside so we don't got the fans blowing or nothing like that so if it's, if it's as quiet as it was yesterday I'll record that for y'all. And a uh, quick little, I guess I could say some like some random tips from for entry level techs that's getting into the field because somebody just commented on the video. Um, be honest, don't get nobody a reason to trust you. Take advantage of every opportunity to learn something new. Uh, what else, man? Don't be lazy. And that, that's kind of like just in life in general. Don't be lazy, man. You get you get out of life what you put in, but that's in general in life. Uh don't run away from things that challenge you because you're gonna to have to do it regardless. So you might as well get it. You know what I'm saying? Like you might as well just do it that way. It'll help you out in the long run. You know what I'm saying? If you keep running from something, it ain't going nowhere. So you might as well just do it and it'll get easier eventually. Uh, and what else? That's pretty much it. If you gotta think about it, if you did something twice tonight, you know what I'm saying? Make sure you did it. Um, when I was at Jiffy Lube, my manager told me, you know what I'm saying? Like, make sure before you shut the hood, make sure, you know what I'm saying? Go check the uh, oil cap, tighten that, check the, um, cooling top, uh, when it's your wipe, like anything that you took off, make sure you just, just go over real quick and make sure you put it back on. You know what I'm saying? Um, and of course, as y'all know, I got a recent video where I made a mistake. Any mistake you uh, make, learn from it. You know what I'm saying? Try to prevent them as much as possible. We heal me. And none of us perfect. They gonna happen. Just try to prevent them as much as possible. Uh, and that's all I got off the top of my head. For somebody that's in school, y'all might have a better experience than me. I don't know. Me personally, I went to school every day not wanting to go. And I just went. That kind of helped me with that. You know what I'm saying? Just go. Just do what you got to do. Uh, what else? And then, like, sometimes, sometimes, I don't know why, but, like, I'll be at school all day, and I don't be on, like, I have these, I don't know if it's because I just don't like school that much, or I, like, I don't even feel like going to work, but then as soon as I get to work, I'm cool, and then, like, it used to, it'd be some days where I'd leave early just to come to work type, type stuff, so, just, like, just know, basically, the overall message of this is you get at whatever, you get out of life, or you get, whatever you're doing, what you get out of it is what you put in, you know what I'm saying? Um... And that's pretty much it. That's all I got for right now that I could think of off the top of my head. Uh, and then as far as like how much money you spend on tours, man, I'm new to the industry too. I kind of take my advice from older people, you know what I'm saying? Not even necessarily the older people, but like just people that's been around this field longer than me and they just tend to be older because I'm not, you know what I'm saying? I'm only 21. So most people I take advice from be older than me. But uh, yeah, man, I'm about to head into work. We're going to see what we get into. Y'all stay tuned. I'm already rotating the tires now. I'm just dropping the filter uh, and check the battery. The battery was good. They had it on the ticket, so I thought it was gonna be bad or something, but it was great. So I don't know why they had it on the ticket. But, uh, yeah. So we got going for right now. You know what I'm saying? 
This one didn't have that uh that uh panel on there or whatever you want to call it that you normally gotta screw off, so do it right here. I, honestly, they probably should make it like this where that thing is not on there because normally like even if these don't have a rotate You're gonna have to take the tire off, but if that thing is not right there You don't even got to take the tire off if it ain't no rotate on it Alright YouTube, I'm finna rev the engine up for a while, you finna do a fuel induction service. Basically what you do is you just got that little can, insert it into like the intake manifold or whatever. Rev the engine up to I think it's like 3,000 RPM or something like that. It's either two or three, and saying, then you go from there. I was saying because Josh's kid was back there. Oh, we cool then. <laughs> we cool then, yeah. So I'm basically revving it about 2,000, 2,500 RPM. I and mean, that's pretty much it. They did have, a, I don't know when they gonna start using it, but I wasn't here when they did it, but they had a new, like this new thing that came out where you don't need somebody to help you do it. It'll like do it for you. But I'm gonna get back with y'all once we finish this. That was the bullet, y'all. I was pulling the F-150 in and this came in. Don't forget that. I hope y'all ain't got to irritate. Juan is one that ended up with that ticket. Uh, and we actually got a mountain balancing. I was like, I'm gonna pray for your back, Juan. I leave prayers in the comments for Juan. Nah, man, I'm just trolling, bro. Yeah, at the end of the world, when we get tires like that, but don't nobody wanna do them, bro. It hurts your back, no cap. Like, it don't be the end of the world, bro. It ain't something you're looking forward to. I got, man, uh, this is to the individual, you know what I'm saying? You're a grown man at the end of the day, do what you want. Skipping tickets, it's only gonna hurt the customer. Because it's like, typically, especially as a lead set, we all end up doing the same thing at some point. So, if you skip a ticket nine times out of ten, and maybe that same day or the next day, you're gonna do the same thing that you were trying to skip. And, Worst case scenario, I might get something I don't want to do, but ultimately you only hurt the customer because they got to wait here longer than what they intended to. So, yeah. That's how I be looking at stuff like that. Like, so don't be somebody who skip tickets. You know what I'm Skipping tickets, I guess it only really matters if it's waiters, but uh, me personally, I don't skip a ticket because I've said I don't want to do what somebody else wants to do it. So, why would I uh, put it on to the next person? I'm like, uh, the only, the only way I won't do a ticket is if it's something that I don't know how to do. So I just do what I can and pass it on and let somebody else better show me. So that's another tip I got for y'all, man. Don't be that person that's giving tickets. I left this car running and it's been here for 20 minutes. So when I pull this in, I'm going to see why they left it running before I even touch anything. No cap. The oil change on this Bronco. Service of all said, the quicker I have it out of here. If I can get out of here fast, that'll help me out a lot. So it'll probably take about 10, 15 minutes. I'm going to be real with y'all. I don't know what that is. But I'm about to take it off. And, hey, service advisor told me to let the customer know. So this video will save me if something happened. It looks like they tried to sell it, but I don't. I don't know. It feel like maybe the, maybe it was taping. It got melted. I don't know. It feel like some type of sealing. But I'm about to take it off because it came in like that. So I don't know. We're gonna see that. Hey, it wasn't nothing on that uh, drain plug. I guess somebody marked it the last time. But the you know what I'm. I guess I don't know. I guess the. Um, the things that you use, the mark tires or whatever, I guess the type of ink it is or whatever, melts. I don't know, it felt, it felt weird, like it felt flimsy like it was a piece of tape, but it wasn't nothing, so we all good. Hey, you too, I skipped the ticket. Speaking of skipping tickets, I skipped one on accident, because normally when it's a Seymour ticket, that's a service advisor here, 
we just have like fleet cars that's not waiters. So typically, if we see his ticket, we grab the waiter first. So that's what I did, but somebody else got it, so it don't really matter. But, uh, and it wasn't nothing crazy, you know. My ticket I got was the oil change, his ticket was the oil change. I just happened to assume that his was not a waiter, so I grabbed the other one. But uh, other than that, I was just over here while one of my coworkers named Josh, he was placing the, uh, the motor for the, uh, whatever you want to call it, the thing that, you know, the thing that automatically open the doors on the, uh, on the minivan and stuff like that. So, yeah, we're replacing this right here. We just had to take the panels off, that right there, and then the panel on the inside of here. And then technically, that's what's wrong with it, but, so he was like, they really could have just replaced the latch, I guess. I'm not sure that's what he said, but, yeah, man. And this is a Honda. This is not a Ford. So, yeah, that's all I got going on right now. We actually pretty dead right now. Ain't nothing going on. So, yeah, I'm gonna get back with y'all. All right, YouTube, I'm gonna do an alignment on this Ranger. I did it earlier, the oil change, but the alignment just got approved. So, I'm gonna knock that out. All right, YouTube, so now I'm setting the tire pressure to 30. So, as y'all can see, I already took the air out of the tires because they was at 34 psi, set them to 30. Um, and now I'm just putting the um, the caps back on the um, bro. I'll be having a brain for us the valve stand cap. So, you know, putting these back on, the only step y'all missed was typing in my name, customer name, the mileage, uh, obviously the VIN number, so you know what type of car it is or the system or whatever. And then it just told me some of these cars got an LKS, so that means you gotta uh, reset the reset the uh. You set the LKS using the scan tool if it has it, and it said the way you'll know if it has it or not if you got a camera like right there in front of the rearview mirror. And I think I see one, so I'm pretty sure that's that means it got one. All right, so I already mounted all the sensors. Targets. All right, so now I'm finna chop the wheels. Uh, let me go see where they at. All right, so now I'm finna rock see right here. I'm gonna move it back. I already set my chalk right here. That way I know where to roll it back to. So yeah. Back over here with a job to come help real quick, but I'm gonna kind of run it to the front. So now I'm gonna install this right here. That's how you depress the brakes. Make sure the car don't move at all. This is my third time. I did one at school. I did one on my homeboy car. Uh, and then I helped Knight do Knight, Knight showed me how to do one, so. This is my fourth one, but this will be the first time I do it. All right, so I got the brake depressor on. And then next, I think it's gonna tell me to put the steering wheel on. Who gonna see? Now it's at that step where you gotta turn the wheels left to right. And then after that, I think that's when you center the uh, steering wheel and then put the lock on. We're gonna see. I said that the last clip, but yeah, we're gonna see. These are all the measurements right here. Those are non-adjustable, so go back over here. And then, those said I'm gonna need a 21 millimeter wrench and 21 millimeter socket. I said 24 too, I don't know why, but we gonna see. How you two, so on this one, I'm adjusting, I don't know the exact thing to use, but using these two bolts to adjust the camber and then Loosen this bolt, I believe, to adjust the caster. It took me a little minute to 
get it off. I'm, like, you know what I'm saying? I didn't think it was gonna be that hard. Like, I already knew it was this because um, it was the same way when I did that ram in school. But I didn't. I don't know. That's one thing. That's one of. That's one of the things I deal with too. Is like as far as like when something is too hard, I get nervous because normally. That's how you break something. They, they say if something's too hard, you might want to think twice. But with this, I just realized I had to put my back into it. You see? Yeah. yeah. So this is what it is right now. If I adjust it, I'm going to show it to you. But basically, you turn this and this at the same time. This side is a 24 and this side is a 21. So I'm saying it's changing now. The toe was real bad on this one. Uh, McGee came down here, had to use, I got this side loose with no problem, but he had to he had to use his breaker bar to get that off. I thought I was tweaking for a minute, but sometimes I'd be noticing it take me longer than usual just because of lack of tools, honestly. Like if I had a breaker bar, when he brought the breaker bar, um, came right off, so yeah. That's really what it was. And maybe it's cause it's the first time it's been, it's been taken off on this vehicle. I'm not sure, but we almost done. Now I'm just adjusting the toe. And yeah. I be having a little, I be having like a little brain for us or whatever when I do these, but like for the most part, I kind of got it figured out. But, um, because, hold on, let me get that with y'all. Almost right there on the money. But what I was saying was, I got a little brain fart because I'm the type of person where I got to do something like repetitive. Like once I get it down packed, then I'm good. But if I do something every now and then, it, uh, you know what I'm saying, I have to refresh my memory a little bit. But uh, yeah, so I'm going to have to adjust the toe a little bit because it went back on this side. So I'm going to play with it a little bit on the other side. All right, we got that side right. Let's see if it messed the other side again. And then everything pretty much in the green. So probably gonna leave it like this. Uh, save before measurements. And then we also gotta print it. Look at that with your head on. All right, you two. I just got back from tape driving it. Uh, everything is seeming pretty smooth. Comment down below what y'all do when y'all tape draw y'all. After y'all do a line or so whatever. Because what I do, I just spin it around the block. And then when I get on the straightaway, I just let it ride. See how long it stays straight. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that's pretty much all I do. Let me know if there's something else you should do. But, uh, and make sure I ain't hear no noises, of course. But, um, yeah. Uh, that's pretty much gonna sum it up. Um, it's actually past six. It's probably about around six thirty-seven, somewhere around there. I don't know, but I'm gonna get back with y'all. All right, too. I'm in the wood with it, about to be on the way to the crib. Just closing out this video. Make sure I like, comment, subscribe, share the video. Cause I was stating earlier, I need a little bit more tools to make the job easier. I, th I thought I was tweaking at first, cause I got the passenger side done, but the, the uh, driver side was just. I'm trying to break my back, trying to loosen the nut, uh, boat or the nut, whatever you want to call it. So, McGee let me use his breaker bar and came right off. It was it was gravy. Um, so yeah, so I'll be not the cool tools I'll be getting soon. Pry bar, breaker bar, uh, and that's all I can think of. I'm thinking about getting a scan tool, and all the reason I'm thinking about it because I know eventually it'll make me more money. Um, so comment down below pros and cons. And y'all opinion about snap on or uh all tail and besides like you know obviously all tail is more affordable and snap on is expensive uh and from what i heard all tail could do the same thing and more so just comment down below i don't know i ain't never you know what i'm saying i don't have i ain't never of course i've used the tools before but i've only used them to erase codes and things like that i ain't never just went like you know what i'm saying utilize it to the fullest you know so but um, other than that, what else? Possibly got some good news coming, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Y'all probably see it either in the next video after this one or 
the video after the next video. That's probably when y'all see it. Probably got some great news coming up. Um, what else? Um, I think that's pretty much it, man. Uh, oh yeah. And then when one dude commented on the last video, he was asking me about the training for Ford. The only thing I did, I'm on like entry level two, or entry level three. Lube tech training Cause like After I get out of school I really don't be Hopping on there like that Like if we get dead enough I hop on there But the service manager there He told me like Some of the classes I take in school Are a part of those courses So I'd be good on that If I was there ever And your progress stays At Ford You know what I'm saying Like the, the progress You make at Ford It stays there No matter what Ford You go to So Yeah I'm cool on that Um But yours What you got going on I forgot your name But you know what I'm talking about You doing the apprentice For uh, Mercedes Benz I believe that's what you said. Uh, and, like, the hands-on training, like, doing something, working up under somebody. That sounds dope. I ain't gonna lie. Sounds like a cool experience. No cap. Um, that's one That's one of the That's one of the good things I got on my side when I had to make sure I was still recording. That's one of the, like, best things I got on my side when it comes to going back home. Like, if I go to Georgia or North Carolina, my dad got a family friend in both states that got their own shop. So, that's free experience for me. So, that's another reason... Like, it's a, me going back home is bigger than just the job itself. Like, I'm trying to put myself in the best position possible. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to be mediocre at all. Me coming to uh, Lincoln Tech and spending all that money, it wasn't for me to be average. You feel me? So, I got to make some shape. And, you know, in life, you get out of it what you put in. You know what I'm saying? Easier said than been done, but as long as you stay consistent and do things that will get you closer to where you want to be. It's all gonna happen, man. So y'all stay tuned for the journey, no cap. Um, I don't know if I said this or not, but in, either in this video or the video after the next video, I might have some good news, no cap. Uh, but other than that, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, share the video, stay blessed, stay focused, have a good day. I always remember your why. It's your boy Kendra 1K, and I'm out.